may I help you? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, I am here for the turndown service. That is a maid's job. Yes, but our boss, he fired the maid, so he left me to do it. And if you don't do what the boss says immediately, he will kick you out of the door as fast as you can say minimum wage. <laughs> <laughs> you had it easy. <laughs> what is that? Quick, in here. I am ever so grateful you could meet me on such short notice, John. Oh, you ought to thank my daughter. She runs my schedule with an iron fist. I only wish she'd let me drink a cup of coffee in peace. What does she think about Inkvale? The latest article was so advantageous for us. Well, uh, as far as she's concerned, this Inkvale is a, a public menace. Well, I'd rather not correct her. She don't need to be a part of this. Fine. We've got more important matters to discuss. Thanks to Inkvale's rumors, the wretched Monsieur Dubois had to pull out of the Montenegro show. So I was offered the entire show instead. Well, how about that? Seems like this uh, Inkvale situation is proving quite handy. You are an invaluable ally. And those are hard to come by. You understand that I ain't doing this out of the goodness of my heart. If I'm to expand into fashion, it only makes sense that I pick an ally with the most clout. Of course, of course. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. <laughs> was quite something. <laughs> you, you should leave. I don't know what he would do if he catches you in here. Believe what I found in Princess Magdalena's room. Oh no, you'll want to hear this first. I was at the bar, just like you said. Oh, by the way, look what I found. I was in Magenta's room. Hello? Of course, right away. The princess requests an audience with me in the lounge. Oh, that's huge! Why don't you come with me? I can use the backup. Let's go. Oh, uh, sorry, Rodrigo. It wouldn't make a lot of sense if a waiter was with us. Sorry. Your Highness, an estate. Glad you could join us. This is the spiritualist I told you about. I met her when her spirits led her to my room. Please sit. I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Daisy, Daisy McDougal, of the Maple Syrup Dynasty. Oh, sounds like a much more delicious dynasty than Lauren. Vikram Sen, pleasure. The poet? I've read your collections. Really? That puts you in rare company. Most people here value privilege and profit over beauty and truth. My silly scribblings can't compete. You put your heart and soul into your words. Your poems are meaningful. Oh, there's no need to put on a show, darling. I'm aware poetry doesn't hold the same social currency it once did. Neither does currency. <laughs> Excellent point. So, Your Highness, what did you want to speak with me about? Right. Well, I was quite impressed by your connection to the spirits. So impressed, in fact, that it gave me an idea. Could your spirits help us find out who Inkvale is? Uh, surely there are better things to talk about than some reclusive gossip monger. Au contraire, 
in Vela's sensation, the exposés have been the most exciting thing to happen to society in years. Don't you agree? I exciting is one way to put it. I bet Inkvelas must be tremendously clever. Did I say genius? If only... I think I'll take my leave, ladies. Don't be such a grump. We're just having fun. You know me, princess. I'm just in one of my moods. After some poetic brooding, I'll be right as rain. Well, he certainly is a charmer. Even when he's being a gloomy stick in the mud. But back to Inkvale. They're quite the mystery, aren't they? They certainly are interesting. I'm no spiritualist myself, but I can sense the two of you appreciate a little mystery. I shall go back to the party before anyone wonders where all the food has gone to. Enjoy the party. Play me a tune.